My name is Rose Amador LeBeau. I am President and CEO of CTC. Our mission is to help people through employment and education become self-sufficient. We have a day worker center. We have educational programs so people can get their GEDs. We serve a variety of people, people who've just become unemployed, people who have never worked. We work with homeless people. We work with people who have just gotten out of prison and have to re-enter the workforce. So we're full service. I think it's seeing people make the change, become successful, uh, make that transition, and actually having an impact on people's lives, a positive impact. To see these success stories is what it's all about. OCO, and welcome. You're watching Native Voice TV. I'm your host, Craig Pasqua. I'm Cherokee and Modoc. And we have a special guest today, special guest today. Um, Good Shield Aguilar and his wife, Kat, are here. So welcome to both of you to Thank Native you. Voice TV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Good Shield, we've been, how many times have you been on this show? Uh, I don't know. Several. <laughs> Six or seven or Several. Eight, maybe. It's always a treat to have you here, and, and now that Kat's here, um, you got, I understand you're gonna put some music on for us, yep. and a performance, and that's always good. We're looking forward to that. But uh, last time we were here, we, we discussed some things, and we were talking about your involvement with the Buffalo Field Campaign, and are you still involved with that? Yeah, actually, you know, I've uh, been involved with the Buffalo Field Campaign we're, we've been in existence about 20 years now. Uh, my auntie, Rosalie Little Thunder, is the co-founder of Buffalo Field Campaign. Um, I've been involved for maybe 17 years. Um, she also had her separate organization called Pte Oyate, which is um, it's, it's kind of more of the, the tribal uh, liaison part of Buffalo Field Campaign. Buffalo Field Campaign are more of the uh, media part. You know, We document what happens with the buffalo in the wintertime in Yellowstone. And then um, Pateo Yate is more of the outreach. Like I, I actually, I'm traveling all the time, different uh, you know, reservations, different colleges around the country. And not, actually Europe too, because um, a lot of people don't know this, but Europe actually had millions of European buffalo at one time. Hmm. And in 1920, there was only 12 left. So they were actually the first animal in the world to be put on the endangered species list. Uh, so when I found out about them, you know, probably about 15 years ago, I knew I wanted to go check them out, you know, because they're actually, uh, at one time it was punishable by death to kill a European buffalo. And I mean, that's not necessary these days, but it's still very illegal. You, you Should can't, be. You can't, yeah. yeah. But you know, the North American buffalo in Yellowstone, it's a different story. So tell me, what, how, how do the Europeans use the buffalo for the same same uh, food source and clothing source as we use here? Y yeah, actually, um, there's actually over 300 caves they've found in Europe, and um, they have some of the world's oldest cave art. So there's paintings on the walls of these caves, uh, about 30 to 40,000 years old. Um, they've found over 10,000 paintings, but they say about 90% of them are buffalo. So, you know, European tribes at one time were very connected to buffalo. Wow, that is yeah. <laughs> truly interesting. I did not know that. So have they come back from extinction or near extinction? The European buffalo, um, yeah, actually, you know, there was only 12 left. And um, right now there's about maybe 8,000. Oh, that's um, good. 2,000 of them are wild. The other, uh, you know, the other European buffalo are, they're kept in these uh, breeding facilities. I mean, they're treated very well, you know, it's like, a, like these little forest areas where, and they keep track of all their genetics because actually of those 12 European buffalo, only one male and one female actually made babies. So every single European buffalo alive today is descended from one male and one female. So they're very careful about, you know, bottle, bottlenecking the genetics, which is, you know, that's when they inbreed. 
Um, so yeah, they, they very much love Buffalo there and they've done a lot of really good work that I feel um, the parks, National Parks Departments in the U.S. should be treating the Buffalo the same way, you know. Mm -hmm. Seems like they have, the Europeans seem to have a different approach and understanding of Native Americans and Native American customs than many people here in the United States do yeah. of us. And uh, so it makes sense that the buffalo are treated, I guess, pretty well over there, free range buffalo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I actually met my wife out there uh, doing a little tour in 2015, I think. Yeah. 14, 15. 2015. <laughs> Yeah, and so um, Kat helped uh, set up some speaking tour, s speaking dates for me in uh, Vienna, where she was living. And so, so Kat, I understand you do music. This yeah. is this is your CD. That's my first album, yeah. First album, okay, wonderful. What type of music? Uh, it's just um, uh, instrumental piano. Music. Okay. Yeah, I compose a theater tra um, soundtrack. So you do your own compositions. Yes, I compose. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mostly. And so, and you two perform together. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've been playing a lot more lately. Uh -huh. each other. So, are, are you involved with the the Buffalo? Uh, no. The Shields Buffalo work? Um, not really. Just when he came to um, Vienna the first time, I organized those events for him there, where mm -hmm. he could talk uh, at my former university. He could talk in the institute about Buffalo and shared some music there. That's wonderful. Actually, yeah. I saw him on Native Voice TV before I met him for the first oh, time. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You did? It, yeah. And this was in Europe? I did. I was in Europe, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there was an article about him in the Power magazine, and there were links to his YouTube videos, mm -hmm. and there were some of his performances on Native Voice TV. Wow. Yeah. So, that's wonderful. Oh my gosh, I never heard of that. That's <laughs> like a yeah. long distance. Yeah. Down. Ad oh admiration. yeah, yeah. Okay. Native Voice TV is <laughs> oh, oh, worldwide. Watched oh, by <laughs> <laughs> Europeans too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, um, what projects are you involved in now, Good Shield? Uh, well, I'm definitely still doing uh, Pateo Yate. Okay. And um, you know, I'm still involved with Buffalo Field Campaign. Um, we actually have done a road show on the West Coast for, I think, like 16 years now. Um, I, di I didn't do the tour this year or last year because I've been actually trying to reach out to more tribal people. So I've been going out to South Dakota and you know different uh, places where there's more. Right, I, we need to get more tribal uh, involvement in this situation because um, yeah, I mean the, over 8,000 uh, buffalo have been killed in Yellowstone since 1996. So you know we need to stop this from happening. Right now there's about 4,500, we think, okay. and the Department of Livestock wants to cut the numbers down to 3,000. Okay, so Good Shield and Cat, where can our viewers go to find more information about the Buffalo Field Campaign? We have a really good website. It's uh, buffalofieldcampaign.org, all just one word, and there's all kinds of petitions that people can sign. Uh, we have videos, all kinds of information, you know, about the history of Yellowstone Park, which was actually started to save the last wild 23 buffalo, you know, a lot of people don't know about that. And also, uh, Rewilding Europe, there's actually tons of YouTube videos called Rewilding Europe, and it talks about the European buffalo and how Europe is actually trying to rewild a lot of parts of Europe, which is pretty amazing, you know. So I'm trying to bridge, this, bridge the gaps between uh, North American and European buffalo, because I love buffalo. Yeah, well good. Those are w wonderful sources, resources, and hopefully our viewers will check those out that are interested. Now I understand you want to go into some performance for us, and um, we're going to be playing some music dedicated to Floyd Westerman. Yeah, actually, uh, 2001, I, I became the bass player for Floyd. You know, I played with him for many years till he passed in 2007. So uh, I asked him actually when he was still alive because he did a Johnny Cash tribute album. I said, "Hey, hey, Floyd, would it be okay if I did a tribute album for you?" And he goes, "Oh, I'd be honored." You know, and I, have, I haven't completed that album yet, but uh, we'd like to share some of uh, Floyd's music today on Native Voice TV. Well, that's and wonderful. Kat will be singing as well. Thank you, Kat and Goodshield, for being our guests. And we're going to go right to your music now. Thank you.
to where it all began Back to the land I left behind Back to the pride that I must find Leave me alone Can't you see I'm going home Try and find a way back to the land I left behind, back to the pride that I must find. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm going home? And the prairies Back to the desert And the hills I'll catch up to the buffalo And where this river flows Going back Back to the land I love Going Back by Floyd Red Crow Westerman. It's a song called Holy Man. There was a man named Mahatma Gandhi. He wouldn't bow down, he wouldn't fight He knew the deal was down and dirty Nothing wrong could make it right away But he knew his duty and the price he had to pay He's just another holy man Who dared to be a friend was a man from Atlanta, Georgia, named Martin Luther King. He shook the land like rolling thunder. He made that bell of freedom ring that day, and his dream of beauty that they could not burn away. Just another holy man who dared to be a friend. My God, they killed him. There is a place called South Dakota. It's the home of Sitting Bull. He was branded a Redskin Savage. Tried to defend his land that day, but his dream of beauty that they could not burn away. He's just another holy man who dared to be a friend. My God, they killed him. So sing the songs of Mahatma Gandhi. Sing the song to Martin Luther King. Sing the song. 
songs of Floyd Westerman. Sing the songs of City Bull. This next song is a song, uh, another song by Floyd Redker Westerman, and actually the song he told me was inspired by uh, Chief Joseph, who was actually escaping uh, the cavalry, and this actually happened in Yellowstone Park. If you ever go to Yellowstone Park, there's actually a trail, and they call it the Chief Joseph Trail, and they were trying to get up to Canada where Sitting Bull was, because uh, if they made it up to Canada, they would be safe from the cavalry, but they had 35 more miles to go, and... Um, you know, they had to turn around because it was in the winter time. They were starving, and anyway, uh, yeah, this is dedicated to the Nez Perce. It's called Thirty Five More Miles. So this next song, um, you know, a lot of our uh, older family members, you know, grandparents, great-grandparents, had to endure boarding schools. And uh, this is a song that um, I really loved playing with Floyd, and it's called uh, Wounded Knee. And it's, um, you know, I was fortunate to not have to endure the boarding school experience. So uh, what our grandparents and great-grandparents had to endure so that we would be here today and keep our culture intact, you know, it means a lot, you know, and that's something I learned from Floyd is... Being resilient, you know, that's 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 like our probably our strongest uh, attribute for being Native people on this continent. Um, anyway, this is called Wounded Knee. You put 
song called Missionaries. Then you tax the house of God Take a child as his disciples As you take away our songs Go and tell the savage native That he must be Christianized Then you pick his soul to pieces As you make him civilized Feed the gospel, force its values Down his throat until it's wrong And after he is crippled Turn your back As you watch as it decays Cause religion is big business As your bank accounts will show And Christ died to save all mankind But that was long ago Missionaries, missionaries Go and leave us all alone Save the souls of your Wasichu We have a God of our own Missionaries, missionaries Go and leave us all alone Save the souls of your Wasichu. We have a God of our own. a song called Quiet Desperation by Floyd Red Crow Westerman. My soul is in the mountain, my heart is in the land. I'm lost here in this city There's so much I don't understand And this quiet desperation Coming over me Coming over me Well, I gotta leave I can't stay another day Cause there's an end 
emptiness inside of me and I can't bear the loneliness out here there's another place I gotta be another place I gotta be Oh, 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 